Hey everyone, uh, today I'll be going over Elite Code Problem 1769, minimum number of operations to move all balls to each box. So you have all this junk here, but as always, I'm just going to explain it as simply as possible, and I'll do so with this test case here. So given this test case, we're given some string, and these are just boxes, right? And it's a 1 if it has a ball in it, and it's a 0 if it doesn't have a ball in it. So you could think of this string kind of like as an array, right? So it's like this. Uh, so this one has a ball, this one has a ball. Basically, we're trying to figure out um, the minimum number of operations to move all of them to each box. So moving to this first one, how many operations would it take to move all these balls to this box? Well, it's simple. It's just how far are they from it, right? So this one is two from it. So we have two operations so far. Uh, this one is four from it. So we have six operations so far. And then this one is five from it. So we add five and it's 11. And if you actually look here, uh, this is in the example two. Uh, this one is 11. Uh, if we followed the same logic, uh, you'd get the rest of this. So I won't do that because it'll take a while. So you can actually do it exactly this way. It's kind of naive, but that would be an n squared solution and we could do better than it. Now you could just calculate the distance of every box to every box. Uh, that would be an n squared, and it does work, but it, yeah, it would just be too weird. Um, you can actually do this in n time, which is what I'm gonna be showing. So we can actually get crafty about this, right? Uh, we can go left to right and right to left in this array and calculate the accumulative distances from each ball to going to the end, basically. So we can do that because if we go left to right and right to left, if we add those at any given point, that'll be the total number of operations to get all balls from the left and all balls to the right, right? So that's exactly why we're doing it this way. So if you look, we're getting a result here. So let's set up our result, uh, which is just a res, and it's gonna be the same exact size as length. And we do it this way. Remember, boxes is a string that throws a lot of people off, but we can just treat it as an array, right? Uh, we're going to have a few more things, which is a uh, res. Uh, I'm going to have an ops, which is just total operations, and you'll see why. And also a count. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go left to right. So what is the goal here? We're just trying to figure out the accumulative distance of getting all balls everywhere we see in the array from left to right. So we're going to go left to right in boxes length and... Just a normal for loop, right? The first thing we want to do is at this point, we want to add however many operations we have. The reason why we do this each iteration of the loop is because we're going one more, right? So if we're going one more, we have to add all the operations we have already done because they have to go one more distance. So an example is if we've had five operations at index one. Uh, going to index two, it'll be plus five more because they all five of those balls have to go over. So that's why you do it that way. Uh, the next thing you want to do is we're going to add the count. And this is just counting like the ones, the balls, the total balls. Uh, we're going to add to the count uh, however many balls we have. And to just quickly figure out if this is a ball and treat it as a number, let's just go boxes.car at i and let's just convert it to an int. So we'll go minus the zero car. Because if it's zero, it'll be zero. If it's one, it'll be one, right? So we'll do that. And then the next thing we want to do is we just add count to the ops. Because however many balls we have at this point, uh, we'll have to add it to operations for the next iteration. And it's just that simple. Uh, we can actually just go ahead and copy this down. And then make this right here, boxes.length. And then we're just going right to left, right? Sorry about that. So this time, right to left, same exact thing. Another thing we want to do is, since we're going right to left and it's a fresh iteration, uh, we actually want to reset uh, ops and count, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So ops will be zero again and count will be zero again. And then lastly, let's return res. And we should be good. Let's go ahead and run this. Uh, res is already defined. Oh, yeah. I hope somebody caused that. We actually didn't need a res variable. That's silly. So let's go ahead and run this. It looks like it's good. Let's submit it. 
Yeah, it looks like it's good. 76%. So let's talk about runtime. Remember, I talked about the bad solution and why it was going to be n squared. And this is actually uh, on time, because all we're doing is two loops, left to right, right to left. So it's 2n, which is just n, right? Uh, space, we do not count the output array as space usually, because it's not extra space. This is expected space. So really, space is 01, right? Because we're not using anything besides the output array. So yeah, hope this made sense. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And have a good one.